It's Kendo here. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> I'll get it. I've only been doing this for years. Okay. Hi, everyone. It's Kendo here. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, what is up, home skillet biscuit? And happy Saturday. If you don't know what Saturday is, Saturday is when I do a little something on my channel called Bad Movies and a Beat, the series on my channel where I talk about bad movies while putting my makeup on or my makeup on. So I started using wig glue, but I didn't know like where to put it. So I put it like all right here and then the hairs would stick to it. And then as I started to like pull the hairs off of there, I've just been slowly picking at skin. So um, wigs are dangerous. <laughs> Let's hope I still have a hairline when this wig comes off. We'll see. Last week we talked about another Psycho Stalker movie. This time with Omar Epps. I st what is the name of the movie? It's so forgettable. Fatal Affair. <laughs> a truly believable and gripping thriller. So if you haven't seen that video, you can check that out up above or catch it in the Bat Movies and a Beef playlist. Today we're continuing the seemingly ceaseless bad movie bacon number in which we realize in some way, like a third of the movies I talk about in some way have to do with Twilight. Today we're talking about a film led by our favorite racial chameleon, the original spicy white Taylor Lautner. Now on many occasions I've been asked to talk about his performance in his lead role in a film called Abduction. I have seen it. I don't remember anything about it other than him awkwardly pressing Lily Collins, is that her name? The girl with the brows? Against the wall. <laughs> but alas, I figured if I'm gonna do bad movies in a beat, I have to give you a movie even more obscure and forgettable than <laughs> Abduction. That is his 2015 film, Tracers, which is also an action film, by the way. I don't think I've done a whole lot of action films on this series. That needs to change. There's a lot of bad ones. I watched this movie while I was on my little two month-ish break and I gotta say I had to watch it several times since then because nothing that happened stayed in my memory. It was that forgettable. It was honestly a movie that you can be there and not even know how you got there. It's a chloroform of film. With that said, if you want to experience what it is to watch a movie and never remember any of it immediately after, feel free to watch it because it's free on YouTube with ads. Screaming quality. <laughs> Our main character is Cam, AKA Taylor Lautner, a down on his luck Filipino man. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not. I'm sorry, <laughs> he, they never said he's Filipino. Granted, I wouldn't be surprised if it's like in the script, it's like we're looking for like someone of Southeast Asian descent. Tyler Lautner works. <laughs> he plays Cam, who is like a bike messenger of like documents, which seems quite the archaic way of going about that, right? I mean, if you were gonna do this, you could have sent it via carrier pigeon and kept the classical whimsy. We are swiftly introduced to like a group of parkouring misfits, one of which is a girl that he ends up crashing into. And my core issue with the girl immediately was that uh, she's supposed to be a Taylor Lautner love interest, but she looks a little too much like Taylor Lautner. <laughs> if you have sex with someone that looks a lot like you, is that like masturbation or, or narcissism? Narcissistic masturbation, there you go. She <clears throat> swiftly makes the most convenient escape possible, bitch. Why did you climb over the, just go around it. Now, as we've established, Cam is broke. So when he realizes his only means of income, his bike, is broken in this little collision with this random girl, you know, that's an issue. But particularly, it's an issue because he's already in debt to the Chinese American Mafia of Queens. Is that a thing? <laughs> Does anyone have the optics for realism there? I'm not saying it doesn't exist, I'm just asking. Is anyone aware of like a Chinese American crime syndicate? Let me know. I mean, I, I guess you don't wanna let me know, right? Cause I assume it's on the hush hush, but. They start shaking him because um, he owes them money. He owes them a lot of money, which is weird. Cause like, again, we didn't even know there was a Chinese American underground crime syndicate. Where are you borrowing money from them? Also on a separate note, how do people end up with loan sharks? Like, how is that a thing? Where do you meet a loan shark? Do they just like pop up like the devil and Daniel Webster and they like offer you money in a dream? Or do you like have to go searching for them? Is that like a Craigslist or maybe like a subreddit looking for loan sharks? Sorry, it's early. <laughs> But anyway, they want a lot of money from him, $15,000 to be specific. And um, the guy has $9 to his name, as you can imagine, not ideal. He rents 
the garage from a single black mother. And we never really learn of how they have a relationship. They never, like, how did you meet her? I mean, not that she couldn't just do a listing, but I, like, part of me questions, like, I don't know a whole lot of single black mothers who are renting out their garage to like street urchins. <laughs> Riff raff, ah boo, take that. Just a little snack, guys. <laughs> the amount of times I reference Aladdin in these is so embarrassing. The next day, Cam's boss calls and says that his girlfriend dropped off a new bike at his job so he needs to get to work because he thought he just didn't have a job anymore. And he's like, I don't have a girlfriend. What are you talking about? Come to find out, a uh, lady Lautner. <laughs> the woman that he uh, had bumped into bought him a new bike and delivered it to his job. How she found that? Don't know. Gotta eat to live, gotta steal to eat. Tell you all about it when I got the time. Along the way to work, he sees a bunch of parkour people. Parkourers? Park, par, parkouring people. <laughs> Parkourers? What do you call people that do parkour? Par I'm gonna call them parkour people because that just sounds funny to me. I don't know why. Park, park, park people. Park, park, park. <laughs> More coffee. Jesus. Okay. I'm gonna get it. Practicing in the park. Park. Parkour people practicing in the park. Okay. One of the people is actually the girl that supposedly gave him this bike and that he crashed into not too long ago. Upon seeing her, he decides to gun it. <laughs> Running through the streets, climbing on top of things, climbing through things. Like the girl is hauling ass. Like I know this is an action movie, but I really think someone should have sat there and noticed how creepy this actually is if this was real life. Like him chasing after her to the extent that she's like climbing on top of high scaffolding. But he does all this, of course, just to say thank you for the bike. White people love climbing on things. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just, I, look, I went to a majority white university, right? They always climbing on stuff. They don't believe in gravity. Anyway, the girl's name is Nikki, right? And Nikki belongs to the secret society of parkour people. You know what? Taylor is kind of hot in this movie though. I'm not gonna lie. Like in that, haven't bathed in a few kind of way. I hope he still has the facial hair to this day. Keep the facial hair, baby. So after all this, Cam becomes immediately more interested in parkour. After a montage of pointless feats, he is eventually integrated into the underground parkour people. I'm done. This is Tate, Jax. Tate could get it. Uh, they start jumping on sh again and they end up meeting the main guy, which is this dude named Miller. And Miller is essentially the house father. He asked Cam completely unprovoked, where did you do your time? It's okay, you're uh, not the only one in here with a record. Abbott House, Hillside, Juvie. Yeah. You want me to believe that Taylor Lautner is playing someone with a rap sheet? <laughs> You want me to believe Taylor, this is very ugly, Lautner <laughs> is playing someone with a rap sheet. Okay, but apparently he went to juvie for B&E and he had such a rough tumble life. He do need a haircut. Like he, that he do, he, he do need that. Now, one of the few things that Cam has in his possession is an old, GTO that was originally his father's that his mother left to him when she died. The Chinese American mafia syndicate comes and takes the car and says that accounts for $5,000 of his debt, but that of course he still owes $10,000. And if he doesn't pay up, he's risking putting the black lady and her child at risk. Black people always get in sacrifice for the decisions of stupid people. This is probably one of the more accurate life representations of black women being in danger for helping people. F you, Jerry. Stupid ass name anyway. Who wants a gang member named Jerry? Get a nickname, damn it. The black lady, for obvious reasons, uh, is like, you need to get out of my house. I don't know what you into, but you're putting me and my son in danger. Soon thereafter, Cam is officially asked to be a part of the parkour people and be a part of whatever the parkour people do, which is basically like breaking and entering thief <laughs> But there are two rules when dealing with the parkour people. One is that if you ever end up in jail, you call Miller first, he's your first call. Second is stay out of Chinatown, which outside of context just sounds a little racist. So anyway, they start making that money. And because he's starting to make some money, Cam goes to the black lady at her job 
and offers her the rent that he owed her. He comes and gives her rent and apologizes for putting her family in danger and then expounds a bit more upon why he owes the Chinese mafia money. So apparently back when his mom was still alive, she had taken out a loan with the Chinese mafia, which again, doesn't explain how y'all find in the Chinese mafia again. Do they like send out newsletters? Poor people in need of a loan shark. She had taken out a loan with the Chinese mafia but instead of, I don't know, selling that car of his that she left him, instead she was like, I'll get a loan shark so that my son can have to deal with them after I'm dead. Now, considering Cam has gone to the black lady and paid her the money that he owes her, you would think that means he did that knowing that he had more money to pay off the Chinese mafia, but you'd be wrong. The Chinese mafia is like, you still owe us money. And fun fact, the person that you gave all this money to for rent now could die. Yes, I get it. You don't want you don't want her to have to struggle, but you want her to live, yeah. If you're so concerned about them being safe, why wouldn't you pay off the 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 mob first? Stupid. And yes, I'm looking deeply into this because his rent is supposed to be 550, right? So maybe he paid her. Maybe all he had was $550. Y'all are risking charges for $500? Tell me you're doing whole like thieving jobs for $500? What? Anyway, they rough him up. More awkward non-chemistry between Nikki and Cam. Ooh, why her, her hair is always so nasty. Like at first, <laughs> at first I thought it was like the running. It's like, you know, your hair gets messed up, but like, it's just always like that. Okay, interesting artistic decision. Eh? <laughs> have y'all seen, <laughs> have y'all seen the oomts oomts TikTok? <laughs> Apparently, the reason why Cam and Nikki can't get together is because she's actually already with Miller, which seems strange that he's finding this out now. No one's mentioned that. That would have come up in conversation. But apparently she's been dating Miller ever since she left Florida with her brother, who is Dylan, the, one of the other parkour, parkour people. What happened was in Florida, a guy broke into their house and tried to sexually assault her in their home and Dylan beat him to a pulp and put him in a coma. They, for some reason, had to leave Florida because the police were after them. That sounds like some Florida shit, though. No offense to Floridians, but y'all wild. Y'all are, y'all are different. So they came to New York to escape and that's where they end up meeting Miller who was able to make all the charges go away mystically. Again, I still don't know how they met. How do y'all be meeting these fairy god people? I don't. There are some melodramatics. They kiss, which is so gross because again, they look similar to me. Not against brick. You're gonna mess your skin up. You're gonna need some aloe vera, some cocoa butter, neosporin. Miller quickly suspects that Nikki is smashing someone else, particularly Cam. But they put that aside for more jobs. And this one is supposed to be particularly big. It's gonna be uh, going against a Taiwanese drug syndicate who run a bank. This particular job is supposed to run them about 15 to $20,000 each, which again, doesn't seem to be worth it. Y'all want me to go into doing like federal crime for less than a million dollars? You mean I can barely pay off my debt with a federal crime? Dream big, dream bigger. Know your worth, criminals out there. O's upon O's and nothing less. Hey, we're doing a bank? Vietnamese bangers. This is their laundromat. Is this the best that organized crime can do? Y'all briefing the dude in the car on the way in, giving him guns that he didn't know he'd have? Who's got my piece? My piece. I tried the good boy in the dope boy turning me out. But alas, they end up doing this uh, heist and it doesn't really go as planned. Things go haywire because they wouldn't shoot people. Like, that's why I couldn't be a good criminal. I'd be a liability. I'd, <laughs> I would panic. <laughs> I panic. Y'all should see me play Grand Theft Auto. Everybody die on accident. I'm sorry. What the hell are you doing? I can't see shit with this thing. Oh my, oh my God. What the, what the, what? I hate this so much. Oh my God. The sheer stupidity. Stop picking up random people off the street to be an organized crime. In the getaway, one of the um, parkour people end up getting shot and he's dead. We don't, we don't have a connection to him. We feel nothing. It's fine. <laughs> I hate to say it's fine, but like we don't we don't have like a big backstory on him. We don't really know him all that well. Now, Cam has been brought in to the police and who's gonna get him out? Miller. And the reason why is because Miller is actually a dirty federal agent. He has a lot of pull. The goal is to make sure no one knows that he is in deep 
with the illicit activity. Around this time, Cam and Nikki are still doing the melodramatics. He's like, run away with me. But of course, Miller's still there being an oppressive figure in both of their lives. There's one more job. This time, I don't even remember the specifics. Who cares? All they do is run. Touch it, run, run, run. But anyway, they're on another heist, this time, again, with guns. But during this heist, Miller shoots up everybody, just every single body, like every person, just dead. Which doesn't really make sense to me. Like, I don't I don't get it. Like, why particularly this heist? You said, you know what? Everybody, everybody gonna die. Pew, pew, everybody. Why is my head like this today? Like, I can't focus on all I'm getting. Like, my head is like 3% actually bad movies in a beat and the rest is just like subconscious references. Jesus Christ. You end up shooting everybody and Cam is like, we don't need to do it. It doesn't need to go like this. What is going on? He eventually escapes. He ends up having um, Dylan nearly shoot him, but he's able to align his chakras long enough for him to gently Namaste the gun down away from his face. More running, more running, even more running. Holy crap, even more running. And then they end up in Chinatown. And if you recall, that's the place that they're not supposed to be. And this is where we finally meet the sort of mega boss of the Chinese American syndicate, which is actually a frail 410 Chinese elderly woman. And we know she's the because she essentially says, Miller, leave. And he leaves, gets on a boat to Macau. Cam gives them the diamonds that they got from the last heist that he was able to acquire. And apparently there's no hard feelings between him and the guy that threatened to kill his black friends. Art represents life sometimes. <laughs> well, these lashes weren't the lashes I should have used for this. I didn't plan for the wing and I don't feel like getting up to get more lashes. So we're just going with the baby lashes. He is able to get his car back from the mobsters. They're just cool with giving it back, I guess. And him and Nikki are able to ride off into the sunset together forever. That's the movie. Now, I know I've been kind of harsh on Taylor Lautner, so I would like to say, unfortunately for him, this is his best performance <laughs> that I've ever seen. I think that's due in part to, it's not much of an emotional undertaking to play this role. Like, all you gotta do is just be somewhat somber throughout the movie and run and jump a lot. Taylor Lautner's a very, or at least he was, I don't know what he's up to these days, but he's a very physically athletic person. He seems to have done most of his own stunts in this movie, so kudos to him. He's not bouncing on his heels to exert dominance the way he's done in other films. So I unfortunately think this is the best film he's ever made. With that said, it's still terrible. Not terrible, it's very forgettable. You know, it's a very movie you put on in the background. But with that said, like I've said, I've seen this movie so many times for the purpose of making these videos, only to say if I didn't have notes, I wouldn't remember what the movie was about. So yeah, that's the movie. Not particularly remarkable, but congratulations. Nonetheless, you made it to your own movie on here, Taylor Lautner. And as you can imagine, that's saying a lot, saying nothing. <laughs> if you guys like this video, be sure to like this video. Follow me on all my social media, Instagram and Twitter, both of which are Kenny JD. If you got more suggestions for bad movies in a beat, be sure to put those down in my comment section and I will see you guys next time.